you're watching part two of my AMD 2013 gaming PC build. In part one, we were putting things together, right, on the motherboard, installing the parts. Today, we're doing some cable management, installing the rest of the stuff. Cable management, again, done with specific types of twist ties and also Velcro wraps and things like that. As I talked about them in the previous video, this is what I'm using to keep things neat and tidy, right? Because you don't want cables all over the place. I know it's tough. I mean, some cases are not that friendly when it comes to cable management, but you know, you gotta really have the cables routed nicely throughout the sides. Use the holes, right? If, if you see that the, the board comes with holes, use them. The main thing here is, on this side of the case, which you don't see because it has, you know, a cover and you rarely take off this cover, um, as long as they're tucked in and they're not bulging or sticking out, uh, then it won't hit the side cover. And that's the main thing, right? You've got enough space to pack it in there and keep it flat. And that's the main thing about cable management, keeping it together, tidy, strapping it, and then you'll see that putting on the side cover is a breeze. It should not have any difficulty if you did that right. Now, graphics card installation, that's the next step for me. I mean, uh, hard drive, DVD drive, that's pretty simple and straightforward, but the graphics card, you know, sometimes a lot of people ask me, you know, does it touch the CPU cooler? How close is that first PCI Express slot? Well, it's not a really an issue, watch. Um, here I've got the uh, Diamond HD 7870, which I'm going to be reviewing on this machine. And as you can see here, this is not a very large card. It's got one nice fan in there, some decent uh, copper heat pipes that are going through that um, heat sink. And that's going to keep this cool and quiet. Look at that. Only one six pin power connector for this little guy. So, you know, it's, it's small, but he's going to pack a lot of power and you'll see that. Now, there's the PCI Express slot. We're going to install it here. Take off the uh, face plate there on the back, the bracket. Okay, so you don't want that bracket at the back uh, covering the uh, PCI Express slot. So take that out. This is a dual slot card. So there's two of those that you have to take out and then you'll be able to align the bottom PCI. PCI Express uh, slot right there with the card and of course install that into place and it comes with a screw the case comes with screws so you can fasten the card then onto the back okay so right here after you've installed it just get the screw hold it down put it on and then attach your six pin power connector from your power supply uh, in this case uh, I only need one six pin some cards you need two six pin or maybe even a six pin and an eight pin. It all depends on the video card, but here it is installed, ready to go. And um, now basically just so you guys get an idea on the memory and the uh, SSD drive that I'm using here, I've got the Transcend 128 gigabyte, the SSD uh, 320, okay? And I've uh, done a separate review of this if you're curious about it. And that's what's going into this PC build. And along with that, I've got eight gigs of um, Patriot Viper memory, which I've installed again. And I'll show you this in my benchmarks in part three, because now I've assembled the machine. It's up and running. Here it is. And we're going to do some benchmarks and see how everything runs together. So stay tuned for part three. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching.